Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another experiment with art. And today we are going to experiment with um, what's commonly known as a salt technique. Now, this is something that's generally done with watercolor paint. And as I was prepping something else, I thought to myself, what would the salt technique do? I know what it does with watercolor paint, but what would it do with other kinds of paint? And then that led me to what you see right now, which is what would the paints do with some other things in them. So I'm going to just talk you through the salt technique, which I didn't film because I didn't plan on filming this. Um, and I'll talk you through what I'm doing right now. So the salt technique is done with wet watercolor paint. And while the paint is still wet and juicy, you literally just drop salt in it, let it dry naturally, and then come back and brush it off. And when you do that, the salt will have absorbed some of the pigment and water and leave an interesting texture and marks in the paint. And when I did that with the salt, I thought, I wonder what that will do with acrylic ink, with acrylic spray, watered down acrylic paint. So that's what you see me doing here. So I start out from the right, going towards to the left. Um, first, I have acrylic ink straight out of the bottle. Then I have acrylic spray, and then I'm going to do now watered down acrylic paint, and then I'm going to do watercolor. And once I did the salt, I saw what those did to all the different paints, and then I thought, you know, I wonder what other strange, weird things from around the house would do not only to these other acrylic paint mediums, but what would they do to watercolor paint? Um, I just thought, you know, not everybody's into watercolor and we're always looking for new ways to make texture and marks in our paint. So let's try something. So the first top row literally is potting soil for my backyard. Dirt, people. It's dirt. And then the second row is dried uh, plant material. It's actually a dried um, half-dead flower pot from my backyard. And then the bottom row is some chunky spices that are kind of expired from my spice cabinet. So I'm prepping all the cards and um, letting it dry. And now you see me taking the cards with the paint on them is all dry and I'm taking a rag and I'm just brushing off the material into the garbage can. And this is a very messy process. So you definitely do it over the garbage can. The whole part of this whole process, whether you're using salt or something else, is messy. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute uh, what the results were, which I found really, again, really interesting. Um, some results I actually didn't expect. Um, so, and I just did little small samples. I didn't put tons of material on them. You could do this a number of different ways. It's just something I thought was interesting to give you all a starting point. And maybe you can come up with some experiments of your own and share your own ideas and what you've tried. I would love to see that. Um, if you would like to share it over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, um, the link is on my link tree uh, list, which is in the description below, which has all of my social media links, including all my Facebook groups. So here we're brushing off the last of the material off of the painty samples. I tried to use all shades of red paint so you could get a clear idea of what the material would look like. And yeah, my I got most of it in the garbage can, but my table is messy. All right. So then we're going to just clean up a little bit and let's sit down and we're going to pull out um, the different samples. And I actually am going to write on them to um, help remind me of what I did on each sample. So I want to make sure that I want to use this kind of as a reference or a guide, um, not only for the video, but for future uh, reference. So I wanted to make sure I put notes on them um, of what um, I did on that particular card to get that look. Um, and here's a quick tip for the video. Um, this is just rubbing alcohol on a tissue. Um, it'll get all the paint and stuff off of your table.
All right, so we've got our pen out and we are just labeling everything. And the first one I'm labeling is what kind of um, paint was used and then what was dropped in the paint. And um, if you're gonna do this, I recommend that you do the same thing. And so like this one is watercolor with the chunky spices. I'll give you a better look in just a minute. This is the spray with dirt. Um, I actually thought the dirt might color uh, the inks or the sprays a bit. It actually did not do a whole lot. Um, was a bit of a failure. But then on, by, on the other hand, the dried flowers and chunky spices did actually quite a bit and made something really interesting. Um, but yeah, here's another one with the dirt, a different paint medium, but you can see from that sample it did nothing. Um, this is the flower material, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, and this is the chunky spices. The dried flowers actually, and the um, a little bit of the spices actually stuck in the acrylic paint. Um, but that was also very interesting. Um, the watercolor, um, uh, I'm sorry, the water watered down acrylic paint with the dirt is the only one where it sort of tinted the um, paint a little bit, maybe because there was extra water. So you got a little bit of the brown. I'm going to start off by showing you the salt ones. The salt ones are the ones that started this whole crazy adventure. And I'm going to um, hold them up. So I have four different um, stacks of different kinds of paint. So this is the salt. And this is what happens when you put salt in watercolor paint, which is what I was used to. And then this is what happens when you put the salt in the other kinds of paint. You can slow this down or pause over these, uh, whatever works for you. But the salt definitely works and it is really interesting. This is the, that was the dirt, or this is the dirt. It didn't do a whole lot, except in the watercolor. I kind of expected that in everything, but I didn't get it. Um, this is the dried flowers, which were really interesting. I didn't really think those would do anything, and they actually did leave marks and absorb some of the paint. I think maybe because they were an organic material. And then this is the spices. So whether you have salt or chunky spices, you'll get an interesting texture. This was a really chunky, like barbecue spice. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do and that you have some fun art experiments. Share if you uh, will, and don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. <music>